two of my what's new in makeup haul slash what I'm currently testing out video. I know I haven't like done, I was supposed to do this video a long time ago, like right after part one came up, but then I wanted to do other videos, so it just was out of the way. So now I thought, now I have so many new products that I thought I would share them with you guys in this video. And yeah. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's just get right on into the video. Okay, so I literally have so many new products that since the, I did part one, so like this video might have to go up in three parts because I'm always getting new products and new products. So I like to do these videos a lot, like each month now. I, I'm trying to do these kind of videos like each month just to share with you guys what's new. And yeah, um, I'm going to start off with this product. This is the, and by the way, some of these products you might see in reviews, not all of them, but some of them might be reviewed later on after I gave them like enough chance like to review them. So this is the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. This is not new, it's just a product that I saw in Kohl's and I was like, I want a hydrating primer. It was calling my name because like the word hydrating to me is like, yes please, because I have such dry skin. But literally, I've been testing this out like, I'm wearing it today for my primer. You can't tell, but I'm wearing it today. Um, I like it. I think my makeup goes on okay with it. I don't think it's the best primer, but I still got to test it out. Um, but if you're looking for a nice, affordable hydrating primer, I do recommend this. Um, the next product, I think I'm going to go in, like, order the way I apply my makeup. At least try, because last time I really didn't do that. But, and let me know if I'm repeating any products that I did in part one. I might be, mistake me, like, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I might be, because I think, I don't know. But, this next product that I'm currently testing out, which is new too, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory. I use this in my on my newest Get Ready With Me, which I did like a couple weeks ago. I love this foundation. It's in my January favorites. I've been using it for weeks now. I have it on today. Like, I love this foundation. It gives you a beautiful glow. It's like a medium coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. It lasts pretty long. It covers nicely, but it looks natural. I still, like, I've tried it a lot, like a lot, but I still... Like, I still love it. Like, oh, I love it. Totally recommend it if you have dry skin. Oh, I know some people that love, have oily skin love this too on YouTube. So, overall, it's super affordable. Like, when a while, it's probably like $3 in the drugstore. You cannot beat it. Like, okay. So, the next product is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I literally got this yesterday. I know I'm so so late on this bandwagon of getting this concealer. I haven't got it. Like, this is, I have, this is my new product. I got it yesterday at Ulta. So, I saw people, like, last year I saw people rave about it. I'm like, oh my god, so many hype on YouTube. Like, this got so much hype of YouTube. This was probably the most hype product of the year 2017. 2016. Like, this is the most hype product of last year. Um, I saw so many people hype about it. And I don't know if I wanted to buy it because I'm not a full like a full coverage person when it comes to underneath my eyes. I just like being natural, like radiant, like the Born This Way concealer. But I try, I have this on today. And let's just zoom in on my under eyes real quick. Look how flawless they look. I You can't tell because of my highlight, but like, it does not look cakey. It looks beautiful. Like I said, I need to test it out more. I only use it for like two days now. <coughs> Sorry, but... I've only been using it for like two days, so I need to test it out more. But the applicator, oh, I have the shade Fair, if you're wondering too. Um, the lightest shade, this is perfect for me. It brightens, it covers. Oh, the applicator is so strange. It's like the biggest applicator ever, but I still love it. It's so full coverage. A little goes such a long way with this product. Super full coverage. It doesn't look heavy though, but it's hydrated. Love it. Oh, I love it so far. Even though I don't like full coverage underneath my eyes, it just doesn't even look like you have anything on. Like, oh. Okay, so for powder, this is a new powder by Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Press Powder, so it kind of goes with the line of the foundation. They have a concealer too, but I didn't get that. I don't, 
I don't know, I, I, this only I had in my drugstore. But I don't know if you can see, but this already hit hard pan, which is like the saddest thing ever. Can you see that? Like I literally got this like a, like a week ago and it already hit hard pan. Like when I first got it, it was like full of pigment. It's still full of pigment, but like it's not as smooth and buttery as I first got it. It's still workable, don't get me wrong, but it hit hard pan, which is kind of sad. Um, but I don't really like this powder when I started to use it, which is kind of good because it hit hard pan and not like caring about it too much. But it just feel like it darkened up my foundation and like stuff underneath it. By the way, this is in the shade, a oh, warm light. And I feel like it just darkened up my foundation. Like it made it darker than it actually was. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just prefer my Laura Mercier one or stuff like that. So far, I don't really like it. I'm still testing it out a little bit. But I don't know if it just hit hard pan. Maybe that's why. But so far, it's not like, oh, it's not like the best powder I ever had which is kind of sad because I have like really high hopes because I love the foundation <laughs> yes uh, I'm blabbling so much but yeah I'm kind of disappointed so far but I still got to test out these products a little bit more um, okay so this is by cover effects I might have mentioned this in my last what's a new makeup haul I don't think I did but this is the cover effects custom hands are dropped and they say sun kissed this is basically just a liquid bronzer that you can just let me swatch it. Ooh. I don't want too much. So a little goes such a long way. I don't mind my swatches on my hand. But like, it's so pretty. It gives your skin a nice tan, but it's not too much. I don't know if you can see. It's so pretty. I have it on today, and it just gives you a beautiful, I only put a little bit, but I love this. I know I'm such a late game on this too. Like, what is wrong with me? Literally, like this came out so long ago, like last year. And everyone was talking about these, like, they have highlighters too, which I want to try. And this is usually already, always sold out online, so I found some in my store, and I'm like, thank you very much. Um, it gives you a beautiful radiance, and it just glows, but it still bronzes up your skin. I love this so far. I still got to test it out more, but overall, love it so far. And I'm definitely going to pick up highlight like highlighters in, the, in that formula, because love it so far a palette i literally got this like a week ago too this is the nars and narstia would you say nars and narstias i just say that narstias the unfiltered to cheek palette guys i've been obsessed with this palette spoiler alert i'm gonna do a review on this uh, pretty up uh, coming up soon Sorry, my card ran out of storage again, but like I was saying, I'm going to do a review on this soon, so like, spoiler alerts, I love this so much. This shade, Hot Sands, there's two highlighters in this palette. There's like a pinky one, which I use as like my blush sometimes, like a pinky one. There's like two highlighters basically, and then there's, the rest are blushes, and then here's Hot Sands, which is probably the best highlight I ever use in my life. I have it on my cheekbones today. <gasps> Look at that, it's just beautiful. It's not too intense, but it's still intense when you can see your highlight. It's gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna wanna pick up, like if I hit pan on this anytime soon, like I think I will, cause it's gorgeous. I'm just saying, but um, probably gonna have to buy like a full size. I, I sound crazy, but, or like they have, I know they have like a illuminator, like a liquid, um, a, li a liquid hot sands, um, like version in like liquid. Oh, I need that in my life. Like, oh, I got this not that too long ago. And I know they have another one which has more, like, bright plum, more plums. But this one just spoke to me and had hot sands in it. Which, hot sands, I always wanted. I've seen people rave about it. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, let me swatch it for you guys. This is not, oh, oh, my God. It's the perfect amount of gold, but it's not too gold. But it looks stark. It looks beautiful. Like, it just, focus, ready? just peachy and it's gorgeous it just hits the light beautifully i love it i only tried three shades out of three in this palette which the review is going to come up soon i just need to take time to like gather my thoughts and use the rest of the shades but i use this as my blush today which is supposed to be a highlighter but i really like it as my blush i don't know if you can see and then i used this a couple days ago like a peachy pink it's really nice like i said i'm not going to swatch all of them because i'm going to be doing a separate review and swatches video the next product is the physician's formula butter blush in the shade plum rose so this is brand new i love their butter bronzer if you see my like my recent videos and you've been 
like watching them, you know I love the Butter Blush blush. This is the butter blush. The butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I know when I knew they're going to come up with butter blushes, I grabbed as soon as possible. I saw these in my like um, CVS and I was like, let take me home. Um, this smells exactly what the butter bronzer, bronzer smells. But like tropical paradise. It just reminds me of like when I was in Aruba this su last summer and I was like, love it like oh best blush on the market probably um i used it a lot the only thing i gotta say is that it's on the weird they had two shades they had this one which is like a plummy shade and then they had like this other one which is like a peachy simmer almost like a blush topper or can be used as like a highlight because it was so sheer and this one is like the weirdest color ever i wish they would come up with more colors because these colors are more like it's right there, like on the ordinary. I picked between this one and that one, but I like this one a little bit better because I feel like the other one was too shimmery and it can't really look better on me. But this one I love. I have it on my cheeks. To no, I don't have it on my cheeks today. I have that one on. But I've been using this and I love the formula. I just wish they had more colors. But I would, I, I would, I, I'm glad I picked this color because it's amazing. I might have mentioned this in my other video too. My Part one, or correct me in part one, I feel bad if I repeat some of this stuff. But this is the Red Blonde Color Shade Cream Eyeshadow in the shade 7, 740. So I think I have another one of these. I just can't find it because I remember I bought two, but I just can't find the other one. Is that weird? Like I looked everywhere for it, but I can't find it. But this is the only one I actually can find. And like, I, I remember buying two, like, I remember buying two of these, like, two shades of these, but I can't find the other one for some reason, it doesn't want to, um, make me use it, but, um, I've been using this, like, maybe once or twice, let me show you, okay, um, it's, like, this beautiful, purpley shimmer shade, like, when you swatch it, it gives it no justice at all, like, it gives it no justice, I swear, that's the weirdest swatch I've ever done in my life, okay, then. Like it gives it no justice. Can you see that? It gives it no justice. But like, it's the most creamiest thing ever. It's so smooth and buttery. And it comes with this little applicator, like you push it out and it's right here. I don't know how sanitary that is after you use it and put it in the back. But I love this to apply it with. It's so dense and beautiful. And I love the shade because I love my cool tone eyeshadows. Even though I love my warm tones, but Cool, cool tones are always going to have a special place in my heart as well. And this is a be beautiful formula. I just need to try it out a little bit more to get my final opinions. Um, I want to get more shades where I could do like a whole video on those eyeshadows. Like my whole like like swatching them. Like um, brush swatches, finger swatches. I would love to do that video. Let me know if you want me to do that video where I just buy. I can buy if I like that one, so I can buy more. I can buy all the rest of the shades that have that one. I can just do like brush swatch. Um, I want to get more shades where I could do like a whole video on those eyeshadows. Like my whole like like swatching them. Like um, brush swatches, finger swatches. I would love to do that video. Let me know if you want me to do that video where I just buy. I can buy. If I like that one, so I can buy more. I can buy all the rest of the shades that have that one. I can just do like brush swatch with that brush it comes with and then on the side I can do like a finger swatch and then do my review let me know if you guys would like that in the comments because I would love to do that video these are cream Maybelline color tack 2's eye chromes and these are pretty new they're not like super new but um, I've been testing these out not that much I only use them like maybe once which is kind of bad um, but I I haven't been using them because I just think I never reach for these kind of things. Is that weird? Like, I never go for liquid eyeshadows. Like, I always go for powder or, like, cream like those. I never go for these. But I don't know why, because I should start to. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I only use them once, so I really can't say my full-on opinion. Um, but, yeah. Let me know if you want another swatch video on these two. Any of these products, like, just let me know if you want a full-on review or swatch video or whatever. So this is what they basically look like. I did use this one, not this one yet, but they both look beautiful. I use this one. It does start to crease throughout the day. Just need to like, just see, just test these out a little bit more. I haven't tested out the pinky one, like I said, but this one just seems okay, the bronzy one. I don't know. I don't know my full-on things yet. I, I think they applied nicely. I just need more time to final get my final thoughts together. 
This is by Neutrogena. I can never say that. I don't know why. It's the Hydro Boost Hydrate and Lip Treatment. And this is a new product. This is actually new. Uh, I don't know why, but there's like little glitters in there. Okay. Then, I don't know how glitter would end up in there. I'm just going to pretend it's not there. Okay. Um, but I've been using this. I don't know. I still don't know why there's glitter. But I've been using this. I use it like, underneath my um, thing. And I don't know if I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's kind of average. I really don't go for like these pot ones that much. Or these like ones you put your fingers in. I usually go for the stick ones. But I always like a good lip balm. And this... Oh, it doesn't even have a scent, but I think it's average. It's not amazing. It gives you a glossy finish. I don't know if you can see, but it's like gloss kind of. You cannot see with the, the lights, the um, the studio lights, but it's like it's glossy. It gives you just a nice gloss, but I don't know if it's like too hydrating. I still gotta test it out more. I only use it for like a couple of days now. So the next product is this. this is another product from Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost, another, like, it's from their, I mean, I think they made a whole line of Hydro Boost, like, they made a foundation, um, lip gloss, and all that stuff. This is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. Lip looks and feel hydrated for 24 hours, and this is in the stage Soft Blush 10. And I saw Young Wild and Polish here on YouTube, I follow on Snapchat, was raving about this, and I was like, I need it in my life. So I got it, and I really been enjoying this. Uh, I don't know how big of a fan I am of this applicator. I've only been using it for like a week or so. Um, but I don't know how, like, do you see? It's kind of out of the ordinary. It's like a rounded, it's like rounded but oval shaped. But I like how it like hugs the thing. Um, the thing I hate about lip glosses is that when I put a lipstick and then I try to put a lip gloss on, I don't know if it's just me, but the lipstick just transfers on the lip gloss one, wand. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. And what's kind of annoying is that like every time I try to push it in, it doesn't push in because the applicator, like the applicator, like this part of it, is bigger than like the actual like holder. Like I don't know if you can see, but like it's hard to get it in there. I gotta push. But I love this color. Let me swatch it for you guys. It's it's so it's super sheer, but it gives you the your lips a beautiful. Let me swatch it somewhere better. Like a beautiful sheen and like shimmer. I don't know if you can see, but like it gives your lips like there you can see better like a beautiful sheen and I love it. It's not even giving it justice, but on the lips these are so hydrated. But okay, so the next product I'm gonna be talking about. Oh, I'm trying to go really fast. This video is going to be long, but this is the Maybelline, these are the new ba Maybelline, Maybelline Baby Lips Crayon, yeah, Baby Lips Crayons. I have mostly, I have like some of the baby lips and I'm obsessed with them, I love baby lips, only like one that's really glittery, but like the rest are beautiful, I love baby lips, um, and then when I saw they came out with like crayon ones of them, I was freaking out I went to my local Walgreens like ASAP and I picked up two shades and I've been using these for the past week and a half and I've been loving them so they're gorgeous like they're like they're more of a pigmented side like look at that I think they're more pigmented they're definitely more pigmented than like the actual bombs of baby lips but I feel like to give your lips a beautiful like texture like look to them and anyway, I got the shades this shades in Toasted Taupe, and this is in the shade Blush Burst. So that's Blush Burst. It's beautiful. I only tried this one. I haven't tried that one yet, but this one is a beautiful formula. I love these for, like, crayons for, like, days where I don't want too much makeup or I don't want too much color to my lips. I just love, and they're super hydrating. I love the formula of these. And they give you a beautiful gloss so far. I'm obsessed. And let me know if you want like a, a swatch video of all the colors of these. I would definitely do that. But so far, so good. They're super hydrating, super comfortable on the lips. And I just love them so far. Oh, these two from L'Oreal. These are the new L'Oreal Paris Infallible Paints. And I got the shades New Star, Nude Star, and these shades so sultry sangria so I saw these at my target and I grabbed some because I knew I love my lip paints and I when I first saw these I thought they were gonna be like a squeezy tube not like an applicator but then I was like oh it's an applicator because I you would think it would be like a squeezy tube but the applicator is super weird on these I don't know let me zoom you guys in like it's super weird like it's just like 
a divot, like a divot for like, I think to hug your lips. I haven't tried these yet, which I got them like a few days ago. I haven't tried them like yet, but I'm super excited. They look really nice and pigmented. I don't know if you can see, but that's Nude Star. Like they're really, like they seem really nice. And like, I don't think they're gonna be like dried down matte. But they look really nice. And those shades are gorgeous. Next thing is this. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video either. I probably did. But <laughs> I don't remember. But this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in the shade Peachigal. Peachigal. Okay, that's not how you say it. But okay then. <laughs> this is really pretty. It's like a true peach shade. I love this shade. But it's not too peachy. It's not too bright. I love it. Especially for the summer, I can picture me wearing that. Like, oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I don't have it. I've been using it for a while, and I like it. I don't know if it's my favorite lip gloss ever, but I wish I got a different shade because I don't know. It doesn't look too flattering on the lips than it does on my hand, on me at least. But I still got to try out the formula a little bit more. So far, so good. I think they're a little bit sticky. At least my, like, they're a little bit sticky, and, and they're not going to last long, but I still got to try them out a little bit more. But, um, yeah, they smell good. Um, I don't know. They don't wear it too well either. I think they, I remember, I remember trying them out and I think they went outside the lip lines a little bit. So, I don't know how I like about that, but I still got to try it out a little bit more. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Boosh Lipstick in the shade Salk. I went to Sephora a couple days ago and I never tried like a full size Amuse Boosh Lipstick. I only, I only, I, I, I did try like a holiday set that it came with, like the minis, and I loved the formula, like the formula of those were beautiful. I'll link my review of the, the mini holiday set down below that I did on Christmas. Um, those formulas were amazing on the lips. Um, this shade, I have it on my lips today. Oh my god. And what I love about Bite Beauty is that you can eat this. It's all food grain. Like, I'm not going to eat it. I don't recommend it. But if you eat it, it'll be fine because it's all food grain. It's just food products. And this lipstick is probably my holy grail lipstick of all time. Oh, this is gorgeous. I just got it a couple of days ago. That's why I didn't mention it in my January favorites. I didn't have time to, like, try it out. But I bet it's going to be in my... It's going to be in my um, February favorites because this... Look at that shade. I love these purple tones. Like, oh, eh? <laughs> these purple tones. It smells amazing. It's super creamy. These last so long for a lipstick. They're so nice and pigmented and creamy. I love these lipsticks. Oh my god, so comfortable. And this shade is just my shade. It's purpley toned. I love these kind of shades on me personally. And that formula is just perfection. Oh. Like no words, that's gonna be my my, my um my favorites of um February because it is amazing. Oh, love it. <laughs> okay, so the last no, this is that so these not the last products but almost there. So this is the two products that are from the Mac Mariah Carey collection. I went to Macy's and I was like looking for because I always I want to try it because like look at this packaging like oh my god I went to Macy's and I found, they had a lot of stuff sold out which I the stuff, most of the stuff that I wanted was sold out but these two were in stock these were more stuff was uh, 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 in stock but I didn't really want it um but th th these are the things that I wanted from the collection like some of them but the rest were sold out obviously these this is the pro longwear lip pencil from MAC and this is the in the shade Show Dramuk, I don't know how to say that. And this is the Mac My Carry Collection lipstick in the shade I got so I get so O C O O C. And this is the only lipstick that they had in stock, and I knew I wanted it because first of all, the packaging like this is a collector's item. Do you not see that packaging? I just want to like bathe. Oh, I love the packaging. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at it. But um, this is what the lipstick looks like. It's like a frosty, plummy brown shade. I know this is a shade that I like regularly not like go for, but I like it for those days where I just want like like a night out or I'm going out to dinner because it's not like a neutral shade where I would go to every day, but I still like it a lot. There was other lipsticks in the collection that I wanted more than this one. But I still love the way it looks like, oh, I've tried this and I love the formula. Like the MAC lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks of probably of all time. Like I love the color too. Like 
I know it won't be like an everyday like purple tone for me because I love my purple pink tones, but I love the brownness and like the purpleness of it and like the frostiness. Love it. Oh, then this packaging. Come on, like the packaging is so cute. Okay. So, I love Mac, my Carrie too. Like, she, I love her songs. I love her personally. Like, I love her. And I knew I needed to pick up some things when she came out with a collection with Mac because the packaging is bad. Like, I just, let's be honest, I just wanted to buy it because it's packaging. <laughs> um, no. But this is the lip, yeah, this is the lip liner. And this is a gorgeous lip liner. I've tried it. And, oh, oh, it's not sharp. And that's why. But, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, it is gorgeous. I need to sharpen it. That's why it's not that good. But it's like a, I have nothing like this. I'm over lip liner. I don't normally go for lip liners, but I just thought I would get it because I really don't have that many lip liners. And this is a perfect brownie shade. I feel like it would go good with that lipstick. And I love the tone of this because it's not too chocolatey, not too gray. I love it. And I feel like I don't have any lip liner like this in my collection, which is good because I'm not going to repeat some stuff, but I love it. It's super creamy, super buttery. I need to try it out a little bit more, but so far, so good. The new Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick. Yeah, lipstick in the shade HD Dawn, 705 HD Dawn. This is what it looks like. I've been wearing this a ton, and I love the formula. It is so creamy and buttery. And it's not one of those products where you, it's going to last long, but I love these if I'm going to school or if I'm just like, want something neutral but it's not going to be matte or drying on me. I love this, and I've been testing it out for the past two weeks, and I've been loving it. They have so many different shades, and I just love the formula and the gloss it gives to my skin. Skin, my lips. <laughs> and I, can you tell I love these purpley tones? Like... Okay, so that's it for this video. This video was so long. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Um, but a lot of things come out in the makeup community. Like, I'm probably not, like, half of this, like, there's so much more that I'm mentioning that are coming out. Like, none, like, this is nothing compared to what's coming out in the makeup community. Um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.